Yo, welcome to a quick tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest, most efficient, cost-effective, simplest train system in LEGO Fortnite. So start by just making a little platform, right? And you can do this all out of wood, which is one of the things I like about this. Now, you wanna get these uh, long wood foundations here, okay? Uh, you can kinda set this up however you want, but this is the, you know, the premise, the idea. So this is gonna be your rail. I've had a lot of failed systems. I've spent hours and hours doing different methods of, you know, trains and monorails. And this is definitely the best, the most reliable by far. So you can build out your track. Again, in survival mode, this is only one wood and it gets you super far. So this is a great strategy in survival mode. If you want to travel far places quickly, efficiently, I know running around, like trying to move resources and stuff is a pain in the butt. And so this is a great option. It's a great method. So you build out your track and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite end here. So we'll throw down some stairs to just kind of line up, match up here. Now, you're going to want to put a stopper here. Basically, this will stop the train when you uh, when it arrives here, okay? So, you're going to want to put a stopper. Now, if you're going too fast, this will break because it's only wood. So, I would definitely recommend either um, either buffing that a little bit or getting a granite foundation because a granite foundation will be stronger. So, now you have your track. Let's build out this train. It's very quick, very easy, and the parts, you can actually get it, I mean, you can get the parts pretty quickly into the game. So, like if you're playing survival, this is the just the easiest, easiest way to get it going. All right, so you're gonna wanna line this dynamic floor up on the center. Okay, you see the brown on the side there of the dynamic floor? That should be lined up perfectly with the brown on your track, okay? So you're gonna wanna line that up. Then you're gonna want four large wheels, okay? You're gonna use eight in total, but you're gonna use four. Things to remember here, make sure they're touching the track and make sure they're not overlapping like this because then it'll block your thrusters, okay? So you want them just in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do the same on this side. And you just want it touching the track. This is so finicky. Look at this, I'm not even moving it. It's doing that. All right. So you just want it touching the track and you don't want it overlapping. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you definitely, uh, again, like I said, you don't want these things overlapping and outside of the track, okay? All right, so we got our first train. Now, we have to build a second one because any thrusters that I put on here, anything it's connected to, it is going to uh, activate the thrusters. So we gotta have a new one, and what's gonna happen is they're gonna push into each other. Okay, all right, so the wheels are touching the track, and I actually haven't experimented, but it might even be good if you really wanna be, um, you know, take extra precautions, is kind of double down on your track like this so that there's just really good guidance with these tires. I haven't tested this out, but I think, I mean, look at that compared to that. So it's a little bit thinner. So if you want to take extra time, uh, you can do that. Now, all we do is add the thrusters, switch, and we're good to go. And you'll see it's going to push it into each other. We're going to put a foundation here. So that it blocks it and long-term goal you're gonna want a granite foundation um, but onto the thrusters again you can totally do this so I like to put one center left on the gray piece right on the gray piece so it gets kind of an even dispersal of power it's not blowing you all over the place center top center gray piece right here gray piece right here switches you can put them wherever you want 
I like to put them right here. And then boom, we're gonna activate it. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna push this into this and we're gonna go. Easy breezy. Now you can add more thrusters, you can experiment with your track, you can do different things. Um, it's all just kind of a test. And so if I add another thruster, it would definitely go faster. Right now it's grinding a little bit, so it's not the, the quickest, it's not the most ideal, but it's stable. And that's the biggest thing. You want something that's stable and is gonna work for you and move you along. So it's grinding right there, so I need to adjust that just a little bit, or I can add another thruster. So I'm gonna actually add a couple small thrusters right here and here, and same to this side, and we'll see how we go. But essentially, this is it. You can build these out now however you want. You know, you can add railings and different things to just kinda spruce it up and make sure you don't fall off etc etc um, you know this kind of stuff and just make them you can literally turn them out into a trains and as long as this is the foundation of what you're building you'll be good to go see as you can see we're definitely moving quicker now and so we can just build upon this see if it breaks boom look at that stopped perfectly gonna go back and forth here and even if it doesn't move the fastest again you can keep upgrading this but just to know you could build a track and then just let it go for a second and you don't have to like hold sprint and run across the whole map. Really nice. So that's how you do it, guys. Hope this was helpful. Leave a comment, like the video, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, you can go from here and build out whatever cool looking cars and whatever things you want. Oh, but don't go too fast. Make sure you, uh, make sure you flip the switch right before you uh, hit that bumper. Otherwise, you could crash into it and send it off the rail. And anyways, but that's the best, most consistent that i found. So anyways, GG's guys, have fun out there. Check out more of my videos. If you like the Lego content, let me know. This game's freaking cool. All right, 